Hi, my name is Sam Faust. I'm with the North Carolina Region of FPTA. I've been a member since 76, so I'm the old guy. Uh, but don't let that fool you. I'm racing the block at Flynn next weekend. Um, the award we are about to present is in honor of my best friend and fellow racer, Dan Robson. Joining me on the stage today is Dan's sister, Chris, who flew in from Arizona for this presentation, and I'd like to turn it over to Chris now. I'm gonna probably go off script and be a little bit longer here, sorry. Um, I'm here along with uh, Sam and Doug to present the first Dan Robson Scholarship Award. But I'd like to tell you a little bit about my brother, Dan. He and I grew up in a family of 10. There were six boys and two girls, and our mom always used to say that the boys were easier to raise than the girls, so she had to quit while she was ahead. <laughs> And Dan was the oldest, so he had to set his goals early in life, and the first one was, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> and his next goal was to uh, follow in our dad's footsteps and join the Air Force. And this offered him opportunities of seeing the world while working as a military jet aircraft electronics technician. And little did my family know that both my dad and my brother would end up at uh, Karat Air Base in Thailand, working on the same aircraft known as the Wild Weasels. So for those of you in the audience that are not aware of the Wild Weasels, you might wanna Google it. <laughs> but somewhere along the line, Dan found his love of racing cars and his new family within the Sports Car Club of America, SCCA. He absolutely loved being at the track, whether it was working on cars, being the crew chief, driving, didn't matter. He found his passion and his goals were in place. We would call him after a race weekend and ask him how he did. And sometimes he'd say, eh, sometimes he'd win, sometimes a car would break down, someone crashed into him and we'd say, oh, that's too bad. But he'd always say, that's racing. One day he reached out to our dad and asked if he would uh, go to California for him to pick up a mod Mazda was giving him a car. And we thought, wow, a big car company like Mazda was giving my brother a car. So my dad goes to pick up this car and he comes home and it was a totally wrecked vehicle. <laughs> and so we asked Dan, what are you gonna do with this? And he said, I'm gonna do some fabrication, put some tires on it, drop an engine in it, fix it up and race it. And that was Dan. He had the talent of doing all of that. So before I turn things back over to Sam, I would like to say to Nathan, the recipient of this award, to know that my brother would be pleased knowing he's helping a young student in some small way of achieving their goals and dreams just like he did. Dan would want you to set goals for yourself and prepare yourself to fulfill them with what you enjoy doing. He was a humble man, he didn't live in a mansion, but he created many relationships that followed him all through life. He lived life doing what he loved and I hope you do too. Thank you. Our friend Dan was a fantastic racer, fabricator, machinist. He could do it all. He built it, he fixed it, he raced it, he broke it, he fixed it again, and raced it again. In reviewing the application, the one person who most stood out to me personally, and to Chris, as exhibiting some of the same leadership skills that Dan had, was Nathan Simpson. So Nathan.